Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to use EGISUB. Let's follow some simple steps to get it installed in our computer. We go to any web browser that we have in our computer, in my case Safari. We write EGISUB, the name of the program, and we go to the first entry. Or, alternatively, you can click on Downloads. Once it's there, you can see that th there is a 32-bit full installation for Windows, another one that is portable, which you can get in your pen drive, another for the 64-bit versions of Windows, full installation and portable, and finally one for Mac. In my case, I will download the full installation for Mac, as that is the operative system that I'm using. It will take it approximately two minutes to download, so let's show you the final stage of this process. There it is, the file that we have just downloaded, and we want to install the program now. We double-click on it, it verifies, and once it's open, it's a very simple process for the Mac platform. It's exactly the same as Windows. You go to EGISUB and move to the Applications folder, or in the case of Windows, you follow the steps of the .exe installation. And there we go. EGISUB is in our computer. We now get the MP4 file, Hercules number 12, and we open the program. We can see that there are text editing spaces and that there is a tab that says Open Video. We choose Hercules number 12, MP4. That window is to edit the video. That one is to follow the sound spectrum, which you can move, as you see, the left side and the right side, and play the sound, if that's what you want. Brothers! Once you have heard the phrase, you may write it in the text space. Brothers! Exclamation point. You see that there are eight characters written in that line, but if we exceed the number of characters, the marker will become red. You don't want that, then let's respect the conventions about subtitling that you will learn about if you haven't already. Now you see the line edited down there, and it also indicates the characters per second. However, you can change the times by modifying the spectrum bars. When you move them, the time will change once you press Enter. Brothers! You select the right point, you play the sound, and when you're satisfied, you press Enter, and the line is edited. You see that the ending time has changed, and the next line begins where the last one ends. It's also important whenever you start working with new subtitles that you save the file in the right format. For that you go to the File tab, click Export, Export again, and write the name of the file. If they use the same name exactly as the one in the video, the .mp4 in this case, Hercules 12, and write SRT at the end, you will have a universal subtitle file that will work on any platform including, of course, your own video player. Now, the file is saved, and we may close the window if we want. We click on No, because the, save the changes are saved, and there it is, Hercules number 12.srt, the subtitle file we wanted to edit. We open it again, and the first line is still there, Brothers. We open the video, and we may choose to open the audio only, as in this case, because I want to listen to it, rather than watch the video and listen to the audio spectrum at the same time. In fact, in all computers, it works better this way. Brothers! If you click on the sound bar, it plays the sound again. Titan! Look at Titan! And the same will happen with the following lines, so it's a matter of completing the subtitles one by one. Look at you and your squalid prison! <laughs> And your squalid prison. Of course you have to adapt the sound spectrum to the parts that contain the voices. In another video tutorial I will explain how to work with subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, which is a little bit different. <laughs> Once again we adapt the spectrum bars and... <laughs> put you down there? To play the sound we press spacebar on our keyboards. Who put you down there? says the character. Question mark. And we click on enter after checking that the number of characters, 18, is correct. Zeus. That part is pretty clear. The monsters say Zeus. For that we had to 
Watch the video carefully before editing the subtitles. Again, four characters, and the characters per second are correct. If they weren't correct, they would be in red color. Next part. And now that I set you free, what is the first thing you are going to do? And now that I set you free, what is the... This phrase... Now that I set you free... This phrase is a little bit longer, but we should be quite certain on how to divide it. It can't be too fast, it can't be too slow, but you may divide it into two sections if that's your preference. What is the first thing you are going to do? What's the first thing you're going to do is a continuation of the previous line, and now that I set you free. For that reason, instead of writing a capital letter at the beginning, we have to think twice, because the viewer is going to observe that it's a continuation precisely because it doesn't start with a capital letter. We have 33 characters. Destroy him! Destroy him! Destroy him! This next line is very short, but they are screaming at once, several creatures at the same time. For that, capital letters would be advisable. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. In this part we have Hades speaking again. He says, good answer. It's a complete phrase, so we put a stop at the end. There's noise and music in this part, but we are not editing a subtitle for the deaf. At least not yet. But we'll get there. So, for the moment, to become familiar with the program, we only want to transcribe the dialogues and not reproduce the sound in the subtitle track. The Titans become quite talkative around here, but we have to make the distinction between the dialogue and the sound. Melt Zeus. Which we do not reproduce. Melt Zeus. The Lava Titan has a line here. Melt Zeus. Capital letters because it's screaming and exclamation point at the end. We move on to the next line. Blow him away. On this occasion, another titan speaks. The big tornado says, blow him away. And the convention we are using is capital letters for titan interventions, because they are screaming. We have a sheep there. As you see, there are some points where it's difficult to make the divisions, and for that reason we have to listen repeatedly. Uh, guys. And finally, we have Hades' ironic remark. Uh, guys. As I said before in another tutorial that we have prepared for you, we'll try to indicate what sounds to describe and when to describe them. Some special conventions will apply. Olympus would be that way. Then here we have to make the right choices again and place the spectrum right where Hades' phrase is, after the grunts by the Titans. He says, Olympus will be that way. That's what we write. And that's what will appear in the final version of our subtitle. So, the very last line is empty because we don't want to describe that particular sound. The last step is saving the final version of our subtitle. We see that there is an asterisk right next to the name of the file that will disappear after we press the Save button, the one that looks like a diskette. After that, we close the program and the subtitle is finished. Now to check the final result, we open the video with VLC. And with the same name, the subtitles will play automatically. Let's have a look. Look at 
you in your squalid prison? <laughs> Who put you down there? <laughs> and now that I set you free, what is the first thing you are going to do? Destroy him! Good answer. Olympus would be that way. And there you go. Revised and ready to use.